One of the textbooks we'll be using in this course is Environmental Sociology by John Hannigan. And the learning objectives that relate to this textbook uh, are learning objectives one and two. The first learning objective, identify environmental discourses and employ them in conversations with others. Uh, the beginning of that sentence is that by the end of this course, students will be able to identify learning or identify environmental discourses and employ them in conversations with others. So the fourth chapter of this textbook is on environmental discourses. Um, and so we will use this chapter as well as some other notes from another textbook that you won't actually be required to purchase or use, but that you will be using and uh, I'll be referencing along with chapter four from Environmental Sociology by John Hannigan. The next learning objective that relates to this textbook is number two, describe the major theoretical concepts of environmental sociology and identify them in practice. So theoretical, uh, theoretical concepts in environmental sociology, um, you might not uh, have much experience with sociology yet, and that's okay, but this is the social science uh, course in the program and environmental sociology is one major social science that we're using here uh, and you will be able to identify theoretical concepts so theory explains when you hear me use the word theory always have it linked in your mind theory explains that's what theory does so when you see environmental um, phenomenon when you see relationships playing out between actors uh, think about what might explain what theories you might be able to use to explain that phenomenon that you're observing or uh, if you're looking to predict something um, using some theory to uh, to get an idea on what might happen based on what has happened in the past so theory is analogy you know good analogy for theory is a toolbox so there are lots of different tools in the toolbox some are commonly used and serve multiple purposes others are more nuanced and more specialized but uh, the tools change over time they're they've tools some tools have been improving um, getting more specific over time and other tools have pro uh, endured the test of time and are con are considered to be as useful today as they were um, even a couple hundred years ago. And uh, though sociology as a discipline is only about 150, 200 years old, depending on how you chart it. So um, this book is likely the most difficult to read. It is, for one thing, it's written by a, um, it, it, it's very dense. It's written by a sociologist who uses um, is, who writes in British English, so that might be something to adjust to. Just the sentence, um, the sentences and the vocabulary are a little different. Also, you're probably going to encounter more words that you don't know, more new concepts and new vocabulary in this book than you will in the other textbooks in the course. So when you're giving yourself time, when you're uh, budgeting your time to reading, you might look at a chapter and say, oh, this chapter's only 25 pages. That won't take me very long. Well, when you're rereading chapter, rereading paragraphs multiple times, um, it can take a while. So budget more time per page to reading this book than you will to reading some of the others. Um, and also just know that that is, that is part of it. These are, these are new ways of thinking about the world. These are new ways of thinking about things that you have encountered before. You're making a different type of meaning um, and you're understanding meaning in, in phenomenon you've encountered before but are beginning to understand in a different way today. So that's hard brain work. So part of what's difficult about this reading is the vocabulary and uh, another part is how your brain is shifting to accommodate this new understanding and these new neural pathways that are forming. So uh, give yourself plenty of time and rest and water uh, and exercise as you're going through this material. Um, because your brain is changing. This is this largely happens on the front end of the course. The reading in this book um, is 
is pretty front loaded. So know that that will uh, subside over time. And some, so if this is, you know, if we're using an analogy of riding a bicycle, this is your pedaling uphill um, on some difficult terrain. And then when you're reading some of the other textbooks, you'll be uh, pedaling a little easier and maybe going downhill. But this is the most difficult. So keep yourself um, keep yourself taken care of to, to engage with this and understand that you know we're all in the same boat. When I read this same book as a graduate student um, early in my master's program, I was also uh, confronting some new things and it took me a while and I'm, I'm glad to revisit it with you, but know that I have some empathy for the experience of digging into this tough topic.